Hello, my kitties. How are you today? Thought it was time for another. Thought it was time for another audio blog. You'll excuse me while I fix myself a light drink. And by light, I mean extremely light. Extremely light, if you didn't catch that. Um, I discovered something. Um, what I've discovered is in my life, pretty much everything, um, comes down to one major factor, one major thing that I have to accomplish. And it's kind of cyclical. And that is, I need to stay, or I need to get into and remain in therapy. Um, I know there's a few of you out there that already, that already think I'm a total nut job. Well, you guys can suck it. Because one thing that I've learned is that there are things called requirements, which are basically expectations of things to be a certain way. People shouldn't be dicks. They are. So when you expect somebody and you think somebody's supposed to like you and they don't or don't accept you or can't get over the fact that you're a little bit different so what? the more you allow that to narrow your senses the more you allow that to control your emotions the more power you give it you have to learn to nip that in the bud and not give it power Just right. Nipping that in the bud takes its power away, makes it so that well obviously taking its power away makes it so that it can't hurt you anymore. Well, that's a lie, it can still hurt you, but it gives you control over how much you let it hurt you. Or you give a control or you let it to continue to hurt you. So, yeah, I've decided I'm gonna stay in therapy. Um, got a really good ther got a really good therapist right now. Seeing an LCSW once a week, a psychiatrist once a month. They're willing to work on a sliding scale. So that's all pretty good. For those of you who think that I'm just nuts, no. Um, I've been checked out physiologically, and I've got certain chemical things going on. I've also had certain childhood traumas, which are none of your fucking business. That, um, sorry, I didn't mean to be so bitter, but none of your business that kind of made me the way I am. Um, so really, what it comes down to is getting back into therapy is going to allow me to work on being better in social situations, um, to make it easier to build friendships, took a little, made some notes here, hope you don't mind, it's going to make it easier to maintain friendships. going to make it, um, make me better in social scenarios, social, uh, arrangements. Let me turn this down here a little bit. Better in, in social arrangements. Most importantly, it's going to let me get back to work.
so let me get back to work, which will give me better income, which will allow me to go out and be more social, meet other people. Establish relationships, things like that, which are all very important. And I believe once I get out and I establish relationships, actually get some better social skills, what that's going to do for me is that's going to feed back into everything else. It's going to make me a happier, more well rounded individual and it's going to make therapy less and less necessary. Um, and ultimately it's going to lead to happiness. The other good thing is I have found my therapist and my psychiatrist that I see both um, know a person, ouch, excuse me, <laughs> know um, Dr. Stanley Buttwalk. Dr. Stanley Block, the author of this book, Come to Your Senses. I usually avoid self-help books 